are there things you do now, situations perhaps you put yourself in or practices as a leader you engage in, that help you better reframe the questions? I'm an architect by training. Yeah. Um, so I love a blank sheet of paper. <laughs> 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 you know, um, I found that, you know, across my, my career and, you know, in this business, which mm. is a consumer goods business, which is kind of every day, every day, you know, um, that people kind of tend to be very, very good at continuously improving things, right? Yeah. And it's important, don't get me wrong. Right. Um, but I also then have experienced that people are much less comfortable just imagining that you could start from scratch, mm. you know, and a mm. blank sheet of paper can indeed be very daunting. Early in my career, um, I, I had to design a brand new village mm. for the management of a gold mine company. Mm. And that was out in the boondocks. Yeah. Right? And so there's nothing. And you start from scratch, literally. Mm. And so, blank sheet of paper, and you draw a line, and that becomes you know, the main road or the artery of the community. So you mm. actually start actually to define how people are going to interact and move and, and eventually live when mm. you have mm. all the pieces of the community in place uh, as part of the design. It's empowering, it's also daunting because it comes with responsibilities in that particular example. Mm. But is in business the same thing. I found it's very, very um, liberating to be able to start from a blank sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. And that opens up an incredible amount of questions because mm -hmm. you start from zero. I have the full spectrum. I have eight direct reports, eight, nine direct reports. Mm -hmm. I have the full spectrum. You know, people that are really very good at stepping back and looking at the big, big picture mm -hmm. and question what they are doing. And then I have the very, very operational. And I know I can never mm -hmm. push them to become you know, or yeah. practice that other spectrum. Was that by design or by default? I'm a strong believer in diversity of thinking mm. uh, and, and diversity of personalities. Mm. <laughs> I think that is w how a winning organization ultimately works. Mm. Do you have a recollection of at what point in your career or life did this diversity issue become important to you? About um, eight years ago. When, when I was asked to build that new, um, okay. out of the blue, the new function, mm -hmm. Global Jew Center. Um, and the reason why is it came from the realization that if you want to win in, in any business, truly, but in the, for us in the Jews business mm -hmm. or in a beverage business that has ingredients that come directly from Mother Nature, that you really have to connect the end product and the consumer experience with the source of the ingredients. Mm. And so I call it, it's a growth to glass business. Mm -hmm. right? And what you, you know, promise the consumer, right, mm -hmm. as a brand and product promise, is a function of what Mother Nature can give you. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mother Nature doesn't give you every year the same ingredients in the same quality and then in the same quantity. So you need to have enormous flexibility end to end. Mm. And so therefore by nature, you, you have procurement people and brand marketing people and supply chain people and you know, product development and R&D people uh, and then finance people you know, that have all of these variables and equations in optimum balance on a constant basis. Mm. So by nature, it's, it's a very cross functional interdisciplinary mm -hmm. uh, approach mm -hmm. uh, that is needed to win in that business um, and, uh, and, and therefore you have, mm -hmm. you have that diversity of thinking and that's powerful. What is it that is, has influenced the way you lead today? It really is the architectural training that has shaped my thinking most. Five years plus yeah. Seven years I worked as an architect, so it's, it's 12 years of being really deeply surrounded and, you know, engulfed in three-dimensional thinking, mm -hmm. um, you know, spatial thinking, mm -hmm. uh, very contextual 
right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Holistic thinking, you know. Yeah. So when I joined the Coca-Cola company, my first role was really around um, new factories and mm. I'm surrounded by civil engineers and electrical and mechanical, right. chemical engineers, and, and I'm an architect. And, um, but I've always asked questions, mm. you know, why are we doing it that way? Mm. And then I found that these questions were not always as basic as, as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, mm, uh, maybe I can bring indeed uh, another perspective. But it is always about um, putting like a factory. Uh, if you want to design a good factory, mm -hmm. you have to know what happens before and you have to know what happens after. Yeah. You put it into the bigger context. Right. And that's how I got into supply chain. And